Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys how I've been styling my bangs. And as you can see, I have my hair straight right now, but I have actually been wearing my bangs curly and straight. And when they're curly, they're not my natural curls. This is how my hair actually dries. I wanted to show you how I kind of style them when they're straight and also the tool that I've been using. And I actually mentioned this in my October favorites. If you haven't seen my October favorites, you can check that out. I will leave the link down below. And there's lots of stuff in that video, but right now we're talking about the bangs. And I picked up the Bedhead by TG. And this is their mini flat iron, and they also have a crimping one, but I obviously have the little flat iron. And I got this at Ulta. It retails for $20, but I did the deal where you buy something for $29.99. So I picked up the blow dryer, and then I got this for free. It's a great deal if you can do that, but I definitely think it's a great one. And it's actually the first one that I've ever had, like a mini sized. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do my bangs. So first, I'm going to go over what I use, and the first thing is a comb, and then I also have hairspray. I actually haven't used this one yet, but um, the other one is kind of clogging, so I just figured I would try this. And prior to straightening my hair, I've actually been using this WEN Sweet Almond Mint Straightening Smoothing Gloss and it looks like this. And I'm not really too picky about hair serums, but whenever I use this, so basically, not last week, but the week before, I had my hair straight, and a lot of people were commenting that like my hair was really silky. They're like, did you do anything? And I was like, no, <laughs> but I was using this, so I think that this really makes your hair look silky, and I think it looks pretty good right now. So I'm just going to switch up the angle, and we can begin. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just put back the rest of my hair because I don't want it getting in the way and there will always be these longer pieces that oh I look so weird but whatever these longer pieces that are going to kind of try and join your bangs but that's fine so I just like to comb everything out and try my best just to get rid of those longer hairs but it's not a big deal and as you can see that when I comb my hair it starts to kind of straighten and all those long hairs just move them out of the way and the fine tooth side is what's best and actually if you do this it'll actually help the hair curl inwards because if you comb it like the normal way your hair will actually flip up well mine does so it doesn't look too good but for curly bangs I actually just take it and I just go like this just clamping the hair in between and I try not to part my hair in the middle or else my hair will have this really awkward part and that's not really what I'm trying to do so just take big chunks of hair try to keep the curls together and kind of curve the flat iron inwards I'll always get like weird pieces because the curls will, you know, the curls are unruly. So I kind of have to try and curve them inwards. And if I do mess up on, you know, styling them a little bit too straight, then I will just take water and kind of go like this. But right now it's actually working out pretty good, except for that one piece and this piece right here. Sometimes I'll make fake curls, it really helps. So these are my bangs when they're curly and I think that they look really good. It kind of looks natural, but it's obviously not because my hair would be all the way up here if it was natural curls. So now onto the straightened bangs. First I'm going to split this into two layers, a top layer and a bottom layer. To make this easier, I like to break this into three sections, so into thirds. And I usually start with the middle. So like I said before, I don't like to break up the middle. Honestly, I don't even like to use a comb for this because it's too difficult. So I just take the hair, put the flat iron, and curve it in. Just to start the shape. 
move on to the next section, kind of taking hair from the previous section. And then the sides always need a little bit more help. And then move on to the third. So now that all the hair is combed, it's going to be very uneven. And you can make your hair more curled if you want. So I'm just going to curl a little more. And I don't know if you can see, but this hair is kind of curving in. I don't really want that to do that. So taking the flat iron, I'm going to manipulate the hair that way. And comb the hair. All right. Now for the top section, I'm just going to straighten the entire thing. So I'm just going to hold it and go through. Comb after, try to bring everything together. And the most difficult part is to make all of the hairs uniform. So that's when you're going to have to be patient. So now that I have a bunch of flyaways, as you can see, this is where the hairspray comes in. So I'm just going to put some hairspray very lightly. I like to cover my face best as I can, usually with a towel, but I don't have one. And I comb through. So for the sides, I want them to be straighter. So just don't curve the flyer as much. Now I'm just going to put down my hair and see how everything is coming together and just comb everything out. So you just want to go through and see what is sticking up and the side is kind of puffy. So what I like to do, it's so easy with this little baby flat iron. You take the section of hair and you quickly pass it through the root and then lay it flat. I'm going to show you how to do that. And it kind of helps the hair dry, not poofy. So just keep it like that and it'll be flatter. If your hair is going to one side, like my hair wants to go this way, it's really easy to fix. You just have to take the hair and like curl it as if you're curling a big section of hair. Just go like that. But also straighten it if you don't want it too curly. So that's what we're doing. And I'm actually going to part my hair down the side today. So... That's why I want that to be going that way. Okay guys, that is how I style my bangs. I hope this video was kind of helpful. I know it's really difficult and it does take some time to get used to. It's definitely taking me some time to get used to. And once you get your bangs to how you want them to look, they pretty much stay that way unless you are the type of person to like roll around in bed. But I try to sleep on my back. So when you wake up in the morning, you might have to run the flat iron through them which is no problem, or you could try to wear a beanie to bed, which definitely helps me when my hair is curly because it's way more unmanageable, or if I do have a good night on my back, then it's all fine. But straight bangs are, you know, a little bit difficult because you want them to be straight, but I just actually go for the look where they're not perfect just to make it easier for myself. So it just depends on how much time you want to take to do your hair. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.